In this video, we're going to look at basic dimensioning. If you go up and select the Annotate tab, you will find your basic dimensioning tool uh, here under the dimensioning panel. On this particular drawing, we're going to look at linear, uh, angular, radius, diameter, and then a few other basic tools like continue and baseline. The first thing we're going to look at is linear. So I'm going to select linear. A linear dimension is a horizontal or vertical dimension. To select linear, it prompts you to pick the first and second extension line origin. So I'm going to pick the uh, first corner, the second corner, and then AutoCAD will ask you to place the dimension line. Since this line is at an angle, I could do horizontal and vertical. We're going to place it um, horizontally. So I'm going to place the uh, dimension text at this point, and then I want to add a series of dimensions across the bottom. Instead of using linear, we have a tool called continue, and AutoCAD will continue dimensioning where we left off. When using uh, dimension tools, be sure you have the appropriate object snap turned on, and you're picking the endpoint of the object. AutoCAD will automatically create the gap in the geometry uh, between the geometry and the extension line. When you're done adding continued dimensions, just hit enter or right click to finish the task. Dimension objects are single objects. They are associative, which means they are tied to the objects. So as we move these objects, for example, they will move with them. So if I decided to stretch a dimension, the dimensions you'll see actually moves with it. So they are tied to the objects. Let's go ahead and do another uh, linear dimension up the left side of this drawing. So we'll start with linear. Pick the first point, the second point and drag it off to the side then go up and pick continue and then you could add a series of continued dimension this is just a sampling of how to apply the dimensions um, so we use linear again at the top and you'll notice this says at 1.43 I know it should be 1.5. It looks like I made a mistake. You'll notice that I clicked on the end of this extension line. Well, to edit a, a dimension, you can click on it, take that blue grip, and move it to the correct location. It's a good idea when you're dimensioning to zoom in and make sure your object snap is turned on. We're going to look at a feature called Baseline. A baseline dimension stacks on top of previous dimensions. For example, all of my dimensions are dimensioned from the left side of the drawing. So every time I pick a point, AutoCAD is going to stack those dimensions on top of each other. The spacing of the dimension is controlled by our dimension style. If you want to add a radial or a diameter dimension, we can do the same. We'll go up and select radius. Uh, radius dimension is typically used on arcs. You'll notice here I have a, a radius dimension of 0.75. I can move that radius or that leader uh, anywhere I want. If I move it off of the circle, it creates a, a extension line. So I'll place the uh, radial dimension. If I want to add diameter dimensions, I'd go up and select diameter, pick the circle, and this particular dimension style is set up to actually add center marks to your um, diameter dimension. We can also add notes to our dimensions. Let's say I wanted to add a diameter dimension and put a note, since I've got three holes, I could add the note 3x in front of it by using the text option. So I'll do 3x uh, diameter 1.5 and I can place that on the dimension. That way I don't have to dimension all three diameters. If I wanted to edit a dimension and add a note, I could double click on the dimension 
and you'll see my cursor is flashing in front of the default value. Type in 3x, and then I can place that dimension on the drawing. So any of your dimension text can have a prefix and a suffix. In other words, you can have text in front of the dimension or outside of the dimension. Uh, some additional tools that we have for dimensioning is Angular. If you wanted to know the angle between two lines, and when you're using Angular, you can place it in one of four specific locations. So I'll add another uh, Angular dimension at the bottom. I pick the two objects, and AutoCAD will place that dimension. Many times students will try to do a dimension between the object and the extension line. It won't let you do that, so be sure to select the two objects, the two lines. So those are some of the very basic dimensioning tools that we're going to use uh, in this module. But I want to go ahead and show you some additional tools. Uh, for example, we have a tool called Arc Length. If you want to know, if you want to dimension the length of an arc, you can select an arc and place that. We're going to look at a tool called uh, Quick Dimension. Quick Dimension allows us to add dimensions to a drawing quickly, and it has several options. I'm going to select Quick Dimension, select this object, press Enter or right click. And you'll notice that it allows me to drag out my uh, dimension objects. Uh, right now the default is set to continuous. So if I pick a point, it will give me a series of uh, continued dimensions. I can repeat the command, select the objects, and then I could change this to staggered, for example, and have a series of staggered dimensions. But you'll notice that my previous set of dimensions are deleted. When using quick dimension, if you select any dimension objects like I'm showing here, AutoCAD will delete those and replace them with the new dimensions. If you want to dimension this twice, then we can select the objects only and then apply another series of dimensions. I'm going to switch to continuous and add some continuous dimensions to the bottom. Uh, Quick dimensioning doesn't work in all cases, but when it does, it does save you a lot of time. On this particular module that you're going to be working on, you will need to use quick dimension. And you have to select the objects that you want to dimension. So you'll need to go through and manually pick those objects. When you're working with basic dimensioning like linear and aligned, um, AutoCAD automatically places the text outside of the second extension line. So the second point that you pick, if the text doesn't fit, AutoCAD moves it out to the outside. But at any point, you can click on it and make changes. Uh, grips are a valuable tool when editing dimensions. Uh, you can move your dimensions. You can also force a continued dimension or a baseline dimension. When you're using baseline, it will start from the opposite arrowhead that you select. So if I pick baseline, you'll notice it starts from the left and not the right dimension. However, if you choose continue, it will allow you to continue from the point that you picked. Okay. This particular lesson just really covers the basics of dimensioning. Later on in the class, we'll actually cover the concepts of how to create a text style.